do for this week's Field Trip Friday? Uh, well, let's stop and think about it for a second. Okay. Oh, this looks good. Oh. Larissa, I want to do something exciting. Oh! Elijah, I think it just hit me. Just west of Rogers City sits 13 acres with 60 plus varieties of apple trees. You know it's one of the most beautiful times of the year in Michigan when the trees begin to change color and the weather begins to cool down. Kanavi's Munchy Crunchy Apple Farm and Twisted Root Cider is one of the hot spots to stop and plant a day in Northeast Michigan. Visitors are unable to pick the apples, but they can walk through the fields and relax in nature. Dana Hefley knows all about the history of the Munchy Crunchy Apple Farm. Her grandfather started the business when Doc Kanabi planted his first seed in the late 80s. Decades later, you're now looking at over 6,000 apples. Oh my gosh, what can't you do? It's fall in northern Michigan and this is the place to be. The orchard was planted in 1985. Actually, my grandfather planted the orchard, so it's been here for a lot of years. And um, it's just kind of been growing every, every season. And the barn is kind of an eclectic mix of antiques and fun flair, and there's lots to look at and see and do. So we do apples and cider and donuts, and we have a full bakery operation, and just anything kind of sweet and savory that you might like to enjoy in the fall is basically here. The donuts were so, so tasty. I can see why people wait in the long line. So we are now entering the donut and bakery operation, which is kind of the heart and soul of what we do at Cannabis. so come on in. So yeah, you guys are welcome to try a donut. She's working on, um, she's making apple cider donuts as we speak. This is Sally and this is Marie, and they head up our donut operation. And so, yeah, we have, I think, six different kinds of donuts that are going out the door at all Can times. Can I try to make one? So basically, you have, to, you have to mix up the dough at a certain weight and temperature, and then it has to go through the conveyor at a certain speed and temperature as well. And then when they, when they come out, they have to cool to a certain temperature before you can frost or glaze them. And, um, and we're doing that all as fast as you can possibly imagine on Saturdays and Sundays. So we have uh, a pumpkin donut with pumpkin glaze. We have our apple cider donuts, either caramel glaze or with cinnamon sugar. Okay. And we also do buttermilk, either plain or powdered. And then of course, the, the bacon apple maple bam. Yep, yep, it's the signature donut. So we have a, an entire back bakery operation as well where we make cookies, cakes, pies, crisps, muffins, you name it. There's lots going on today because we have school tours that come out during Thursdays and Fridays. So they're out here enjoying the farm and playing in the playground and going on a wagon ride and visiting the farm animals and just experiencing the sights, sounds and smells of fall. It, it's just been great. I mean, it, it's wonderful being around a vibrant, you know, happy place. There's, there's really no better place to be in the fall. The apple farm is on its way to becoming fully organic. Since some insecticides are harmful, the farmers want to do what they can to keep the bee population healthy. This is where we learned how important bees are to the environment. We couldn't do this field trip Friday without the Wilson Elementary second graders from Heron, Michigan. Jerry Chapel is the barrel train engineer on weekends, but on Thursday and Friday, he pulls a wagon full of school children past choked cherry trees and gala apples. Okay, next we're going to get out of the, off the wagon. We're going to go into the orchard and you're going to get to pick your own apple. Okay, now you want to look at the apple over a little bit before you pick it, okay. Now to properly pick an apple, you lift, twist, and pull it off. And I like to wipe them on my shirt because they got dust on them. 
and then you're ready to start chewing, okay? All right, so go and pick your apple. Pick a, pick a good one, pick a good one. I can't buy my apple because I got braces. To open up the door and have customers come through that are enjoying this place and love this place as much as we do is pretty much what it's all about for me and, and my family, really. And it's just a fabulous place. It's, it's a lot, it's busy, it's energizing, um, it smells great, and the food's wonderful, and I can't, I can't say enough about it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty special place to be. My favorite part was riding along with the school children on the wagon ride. Kanabi's is a fun location for all ages. That's all we have for this episode. We'll see you next time on... Yeah, yeah.